Hello and welcome back to another beer review. Now, having been out here for about a week, um, I'm happy to say um, there is a thriving uh, craft beer scene in, in Greece. There is a lot of small breweries setting up all over the country and um, it's always great to see that. It's always great to see um, that type of, um, what's the word? that type of thing going on because um, it gives people an option you know to, to drink decent beer the problem we're having is that well where us English tourists go we always go to places and I just have the, the, the main mediocre lagers and um, if you look below that and go out and actually go out wherever you stay in Greece and actually find proper Greek taverns or or whatever they will have some craft beer I'm sure they will so I'm happy to do this review in more ways than once we're off to Athens we got um, we're off to a microbrewery and it's in not to a micro Athens not to a microbrewery we have a little tongue twister and this is um, a pale ale and it is their head twister there you go boys and girls 5.2% ABV, best enjoyed at, enjoyed at 7 degrees centipede. There you go, great looking bottle that, great looking bottle. Um, it's got hops, it's got nuggy, challenger, citra and chinook. It's got an IBU of 35. So, you know, it's great to see that type of info. Great to see it. So, this for 3 euros, so you can't go wrong with the price either. There's a crown. There you go. Let's see what we get. Oh, that smells beautiful. Love these lovely zesty lemon. Grapefruit. Hint of orange. How I've missed beers like this while I've been over here. Um, it's so great. So let's pour this out. Pale gold in colour. As you can see there, hardly any head. It looks really, really nice. It does. It's, it's oh. Um, I only picked up two. There was a black IPA I had in the shop, which I'm actually going to bring back home and review it back home. Um, as well as well as another craft beer brewery. It's a serious micro brewery. I'm doing their IPA back home, and I'm taking a back a bottle of Cretan Kings and do a proper review of that, considering. I've been drinking it most of the time as well. So yeah, appearance, gold, steady flow, carbonation. Again, grapefruit, orange, lemon rind. It smells beautiful. Going in. Cheers. That is lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, having a low IBU in this one, um, it just lets all the juicy fruit notes just come to the forefront for me. Um, with the lemon, the orange rind, grapefruit, just comes to the forefront and it, it does make it more enjoyable instead of having a really harsh bit in this on this beer it is really nice um, again one more time because I like to keep them short on the phone <laughs> I can fit more of the music oh. I've got to drink I've got to drink a ton of this tonight <laughs> it's just lovely it's just a lovely mellow bit in this with lovely big pockets of fruit notes it's really really nice um, it's quite smooth around the mouth as well <laughs> and it's just in date as well <laughs> he's knocking off some more out of date beer out of the corner isn't he? <laughs> anyway boys and girls if you're in Greece check this brewer out it is the Noctua uh, micro brewery in Athens there you go the head twister is very much a head twister it's great stuff great stuff indeed See you on my next one.